Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to create the classic snake game in Excel using VBA macros. And there are already some videos about that on YouTube, but here I'm going to show you an original way to do it as a good example to understand how to use and redimension arrays as we're going to declare arrays to determine the position of each part of the snake and then redimension the array as the snake grows when eating the apple. We will also see how to capture keystroke to move the snake in any direction with the arrows in the keyboard and we will revisit the set timer function that we've used already in a previous video to create the movement of the snake. So let's get to it. We'll use for example range B2 to S26 and I'm gonna format that and you can change it and adapt it to your screen resolution. So now let's move to the Visual Basic Editor and the first macro will be like start the game. So first with this range B2 to S26, we're going to set the interior color to black and then we're going to declare some variables at the module level. So the first will be the row and the column variables that are actually going to be arrays to determine the position of each part of the snake. So them are and it's going to be an integer value and we add the parentheses without any dimension for the array as we're going to redimension that later and the same for column. And when we start, we will redimension those variables. And I'm gonna set it to two, for example, and the same with C. And this is the upper bound of the array. If you want to know more about arrays, there's a very good video in the tutorial for beginners. So this array is gonna have three elements, zero, one, and two. Then we're gonna set the initial position of the snake starting in row 20, for example, and then it's going to be R1, row 21, and R2, row 22. So we're going to position the snake vertically. R0 is going to be the head of a snake, and 1 and 2 are going to be the following two parts of the snake. And now C is going to be always 20. Now we're going to need two other variables, and those are R increment, the row increment, which initially is going to be zero and also the column increment is going to be zero. And these are going to change as we move the snake. So the row increment is going to be plus one or minus one when we move up or down. And the column increment is going to be plus one or minus one when we, when we move right or left. And we need to declare these variables as public because we are going to use them in another module that I will add later. So public R increment as an integer and C increment as an integer. And now we can show the snake, but I'm going to have that in a, another macro. Show a snake. So down here, sub show a snake. We're going to have a loop starting on the tail of the snake. So that's the upper bound of R or the upper bound of C to one, not to zero because zero is going to be the head and it's going to be different. And this is going backwards. So we have to step minus one. And here in cells ri comma ci interior color we're gonna have it green so that's gonna be the body of the snake it's gonna be green then we move to the next i initially that's just gonna loop from two to one so because we set the upper bound of the array to two so it's gonna be two to one so for two parts of the snake, it's going to fill the green color. And now for the head, which is going to be cells R0, comma C0, we're going to have a different color, so let's make it red. And I'm actually going to change that because I think that's too far away. So it's going to be column 10, and we can leave the row number. So let's see how that looks like, and I'm going to add a button here to start the game. And that's how it looks like as of now. So now the next step is to move the snake. And we're going to do that using the arrows. So I'm going to add a new module. And let me just rename this one. This is the main module where, where, where most of the things are happening. Now I'm going to add a new one that I'm going to call keys. And here we will write the code to capture the key stroke. So, so first we're going to bind keys to the arrows. And for that, we will use the onKey method of the application object, so application onKey. And if we 
put here any letter of the keyboard, if I write M, it will run a macro when we press the letter M. But we want to move the snake with the arrow, so that's going to be left up, but using the curly brackets. So when pressing the left arrow, we're going to call another macro to move left. So let's call it move left. The same for moving right. And the same for the other directions. Now we're going to have each of those macros. So move left is going to change the column increment, C inc, this variable that we declare as a public variable in the other module. This is going to be minus 1. So moving to the left is going to increment the column by minus 1. And then it's going to set the row increment to 0. And here we're going to call move snake. This is another macro we're going to add in a moment. Uh, and this is just for testing purposes for now, because later we will use the timer event to call the move snake macro. And another thing we want to add here, we want to make sure that the snake is not going to the right. So if C increment is different than 1, then we can do all this. Okay, and we're, we're going to do the same for each other direction. So if move right, it's going to check that it's not moving to the left. And then it's going to set the column increment to plus 1. Okay? And the same story for the other two directions. But here we change the row increment. Moving up is going to be minus 1. And column increment is going to be 0. This is going to be plus 1. And same for moving down. And finally, we want to unbind the keys. So I'm going to copy this down here. And I'm going to rename it to free keys. So when we end the game, the keys are responding as before. So we just remove the macros here. to free the arrow keys in the keyboard after the game. OK, now we are going to create the move snake macro. And that's going to be back here in the main module. So sub move snake. OK, first we're going to check if either row increment or column increment are different than 0. And here we're going to set the tail of the snake is going to be u, the upper bound of r, or it could be the upper bound of c. And we're going to cut the tail of the snake, or the last part of the snake. We're going to cover in black as the snake is going to move forward to the next position. So cells r for the tail, comma c for the tail, Interior is going to be now black as the background. And then we're going to, let me add some commentary here. We're going to reposition the body of the snake. And we do that with a similar loop that the one we've used before, starting from the tail, which is the upper bound of, of, of R, to 1, stepping minus 1. And here, each part of the snake is going to take the position of the following part. So in this case, minus 1, because we are going from the tail to the head. That's for R, and the same for C. And then we're going to move the head of a snake. So let me put some commentary here. Move the head of the snake. 
and that's going to be for r zero, which is which is the position of the head. It's gonna it's gonna increment by row increment if it's different than zero, or the column. It's gonna increment by the column increment. And now we can show the snake again. So let's see how that looks like for now. So now if I click start, it binds the keys. And if I press any of the arrows in my keyboard, it moves the, uh, the snake in any direction.